Now the other way that you can upload a file to the online discussion area is to first send that uh, file to the WebRAF server and then attach a link to a message in the online discussion. Now to send the file to the WebRAF server though first you need to send it using some different software. The software we're going to use is called WSFTP. We could use other software like Dreamweaver or FrontPage but I'm only going to show you how to use WSFTP for the time being. So to do that, uh, we need first to go down and start WSFTP from the programs uh, area. And if you want to, you can get uh, WSFTP from the company uh, Ipswich, uh, which is uh, just ipswich.com. You can download a free light version, WSFTP LE, uh, from the ipswich.com environment. But uh, what we're doing, though, is uploading to a new area, not to Ipswich. So we're going to upload to Melbourne Uni. Uh, you don't have to call it Melbourne Uni, it just can be anything. Now its address is actually needs to be accurately put in and it's the same address as uh, we are using for um, our course. It's this Webraft ITS Unimelb EDU AU address and I can click on the um, that part of the address just up to there and then copy it by going edit and copy and then go back to uh, my environment here and in the hostname address I'm just going to go control V uh, to paste and then that's the address that we're going to upload to. Now we don't need to put anything else in except um, the uh, user ID which is whatever your logon uh, name is and your password. Make sure that the uh, anonymous is switched off and the save password is either on or off depending if you're working at uh, the local computer uh, at home you can save the password. If you're working on a computer at the uni don't save the password because other people can upload to your area if uh, you leave that on. So I'm just going to put in my password to there and um, what we now need to do is click on OK. It'll connect to the server and uh, it'll ask me for my password again because I didn't ask it to save which is fine and uh, click on OK. Now you'll notice that uh, it's now gone into this window which has given us a whole stack of subfolders, uh, many of which uh, we don't need to look at, but uh, we've got to find one which has got the course's number. So in this case, uh, I'm going to go and put it in a course number by scrolling down as fast as I can to the 48 area, 468. And let me have a look. Uh, just click into this folder. And the area that you're going to upload to is the uh, students folder inside there and then you're going to upload to your student ID again. So we need to click into there and I'm going to get you to choose the public area. The other area, which is um, PROT, is a protected area that you can also upload to but it only allows you to upload files um, that you can access and nobody else can. In the pub area, you can upload a file to this area um, and anybody in the world can access it. Now on the other side of the screen is where the local files are. We're actually looking in the program files WSFTP directory so we need to go up a couple of levels to uh, find the file that we want to upload. In this case it may be the same file in fact uh, that we uploaded before so I'm just going to upload a PowerPoint file and uh, the PowerPoint file in this case can be quite large, unlike in the attachment uh, method um, by uploading it to the WSFTP folder the file can be quite large and easily accessed. Now I've uploaded that file into this area of the, uh, the server and I now need to paste a message in the online discussion which will tell people where that uh, file is. So again I'm just going to go into the assignment feedback folder I'll actually just use the folder that I created before, which was, uh, let me have a look, uh, I think it was called my something, my folder, here we go. Um, because I started that folder before, I just need to add a discussion to that. And in that discussion, I'll just say, is an upload. And this is going to be a link in the message. Now to create the link, I need to put uh, a... Uh, an address. So to get that address I just need to have part of the uh, WebRAF server name again and so I can go back up to the top part of the uh, address area 
and again I'm just getting this first part of the address with the web raft in I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to on a new line paste that by using control V the last part of the address though is in the area that we we're in before in the WSFTP software and it's this whole address here so if I click on that and copy that go back to uh, my message in the online discussion and uh, control V again just make sure that I've got a forward slash and then the 468 or the course number then students then my username and then pub and the last part of the address is actually the file name now I uploaded lec1.ppt so I've got to type that address or that that file name in so it's lec1.ppt and that uh, address then if I go over and add this discussion becomes the link in the message that I've uh, put up in the uh, folder for my feedback and if I click on that link it'll do the same as what was done before when I did a, um, a uh, attachment and we get the uh, file uh, within the browser window when we click on it